For us, one of those special moments on a cruise is when you first open your cabin door and walk in. Wow! Every cabin on a cruise ship is good, but we thought we'd take a look at the pros and cons of different cabins on different cruise lines, so you get an idea as to what you can expect. We thought we'd break it down into categories to make it easier, so we're looking at beds, space, balconies, if you've got one, storage, bathroom, facilities, services, power sockets, and any of those little extras. Ah, oh, Queen Mary too, our balcony cabin that we had. Yes, there was plenty of storage in this, wasn't there? Well, I guess that's because it's designed for transatlantic and longer cruises, world voyages, but yeah, plenty of storage. So you had the, the wardrobes that were all full length. You had these additional drawers as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, then they were nice and deep. So you could get plenty in them. There was loads of hanging space and it was um, plenty long enough for long dresses. Then you've got the little bedside cupboards. Yeah, and they're not quite so small either. They're a decent size. Yeah. Oh, and look, an empty fridge. Now that's unusual. Not much good, is it? An Aurora, so an inside cabin, but still showing the age of the ship with proper wardrobes, beautiful wood. But plenty of room. Yeah, they're nice and deep. Um, there's plenty of hanging space again and loads of, of cupboards and drawers. It's, it's really good from that point of view. You've just got those sort of cubby holes there and then the, the safe. The safe isn't the biggest, um, but it's perfectly adequate for most people. Yeah, but most safes aren't exactly huge, are no, they? No, not really. Oh, oh, we've got something in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And then more drawer space. Yeah, you know, they're, four... those are, they're, they're not terribly deep, but they're very good. Good size drawers. Mm. And a proper bedside cabinet again with two drawers, somewhere to keep my socks. Yeah. Now, this is Sky Princess. Now, this was a bit different because we haven't got the closed-in wardrobe, have we? No, we didn't think we'd like it at first, but it's actually easier to access, isn't oh, it? Oh, so much easier. And actually, you can use it as a dressing room if you want to. Yeah. And then you've got these cupboards there. They're floor-to-ceiling cupboards. Um, and then you've got the bedside cupboards, proper ones again, yep. with drawers. Nice and deep, plenty of room there. And then you go on to the other drawer space that you've got in there. Um, oh. And, oh, oh, fridge. fridge. Oh, oh, that's better. <laughs> yeah, much better. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And then Enchanted Princess, very similar setup, same class of ship, but this is a mini suite, so there are some slight differences, aren't there, Lovie? Yeah, but we still got the open wardrobe, and these um, drawers here, um, they're, light, they're, light, wider, they're a bit wider, double yeah. doored, and still floor to ceiling. Yeah, and then of course you've got the bedside cupboards again, yep. nice and deep, plenty of room there for, for bits that you want to keep near nearby. And marble and because topped. We've got that extra room, so we've got yeah. extra cupboards. And my goodness, we never put anything in them, did we? Well, we were was... only on a four-day cruise, weren't we? <laughs> yeah, we didn't have enough clothes to put in them, but there's no. loads of space there. Space on the outside there, yeah. and look, even more drawers. Three more drawers. Yeah, that one's got the hairdryer in, so you wouldn't probably put much in there. No. Uh, but the other two are really deep and useful. Mm. Yeah, you can see yeah. that. Um, um, nice, big drawers. Really good. Yep. That's and another old, fridge. A fridge. Oh, oh and that one's quite nice as yeah, well. Yeah, that's got a few bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to show how much you can get in there. Yeah. <laughs> and then we come to Iona. More mm. modern ship. Quite yeah. different. Yeah, we've got the... Uh, usual fridge. Usual fridge. Not so much in there. No. <laughs> Gone back less, to normal. Even less these days. And this was one of the cupboards, wasn't it? Yeah, but they're only about eight inches deep. Yeah, and that one was, it was even smaller. Four inches deep, so not really a lot you could get no, in there. No, no. Biscuits are about the only thing you can get in there. No bedside cupboards, just a tiny little cubby, cubby hole. hole. Yeah. And then the wardrobes. We had an issue with them. We were lucky because our bed was down by the balcony, not by the wardrobe. Otherwise, you just can't get into yeah, them. Yeah, if you've got the bed up that end, you, you really struggle to get the, the doors and, open. Oh, problem with your dress there, dear? Uh, yes. Yes, it wasn't. The, the cupboard wasn't long enough for the, for the dress, and that mm. wasn't a full-length dress either. More shelves, very useful shelves. Uh, shelves? You keep saying shelves. Yeah. Where and are the drawers then? There are no drawers. No. And a half height cupboard for me. So, but very small to get your shirts and, and, and clothes in. Oh, no, this is a little bit different. <laughs> this is Oceana. Oceana. So sliding doors, and they don't always work very well, but, but they did on here. Yeah, but they, they were good quality, weren't they? 
they were much better quality than other, others we've and come across. plenty of room for access. Uh, again, loads of room for access and very deep, big cupboards and look soft closing. Yeah, lovely. Just a nice touch, isn't it? Yeah. And look, three drawers in the bedside cupboard here. And they're big, aren't they? they yeah, they are. Big. They were big, yeah. You can get my big oh, look. underwear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's all soft drinks. Yeah, it is. Mm. Fully stocked, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all complimentary. Yeah. And something that every cabin we've been in is storage under the bed for our suitcases. Yeah, there's plenty of storage under each of the beds mm. that we've had. Oh, yeah, more drawers here. There were so many drawers in this room. You, you Again, you had a job to fill them all. Well, yeah. I think we managed on I this one. I think we managed on this one, yeah. And that one. And uh, another deep drawer there. Yeah, they weren't just deep. They were, they were wide, wide as well. And a big one in the bottom that yeah. I had all my camera gear in as well. So storage on Virtuosa again. No proper bedside cupboard. Just a little cubby hole. It does have a lip at the front, which helps keep things in. Mm. But that's all about you, you can say. Wardrobe Lindy. Oh dear, yes, not my favourite. <laughs> um, oh. I had real problems actually accessing these the, the items that were in there. It was a war, wasn't it? They it, weren't very deep. Look, oh, you, you you couldn't put a jacket in the wardrobe properly. And no, you couldn't put anything in there properly because it it, it got caught around the corners and the, there wasn't any any storage space to speak of on the floor either. No, and the doors were all wobbly and they jammed and it felt cheap and nasty yeah it became the bane of my life didn't it they stuck again there when you opened it yeah but you can see that you can't get into the to the the no. items that are behind but that these door. shelves were all very useful tiny little safe there but yeah. very useful shelves and three drawers at the bottom now and, the drawers were quite good and a very good job that we did have them yeah because um that was it for storage in that entire cabin it was so there was so little storage that the cabin steward actually had to put things in the window cell, didn't they? Yeah, they did. So we'll move on now to balconies. Of course, not all cabins have one, and we very often have an inside cabin. But the first of the balconies we come to is the Queen Mary II sheltered balcony. And boy, oh boy, what a balcony this is. It was a real surprise to us, actually, wasn't it? The size of it, uh, the depth of it. Mm. But even if the weather was a little bit iffy, you could still get some fresh air. You could. Moving on then to Enchanted Princess and the mini suite. So this had a bit of a special balcony because of the position on the ship. And it's a little bit deeper and it's sort of crooked, isn't it? Yeah, it was deeper one end than the other, but that actually made for quite a nice space on the ba on the balcony for you know, having the table there and being able to sit out and, and perhaps stretch out a little bit more. Mm. Now we come to one of the smallest ones that we've ever had, which is Iona. Again, modern ship. Pack them in, stack them high and look at the depth. Yeah, and especially when you go from one to the other, this really looks tiny. Well, it is tiny. Yeah. No chance of reclining your chair there, is there? <laughs> no. And a plastic handrail. What is the world coming to when ships have plastic handrails? Virtuosa. Well, yes. Uh, uh, to some extent, Virtuosa's balcony that we had that was, was probably the best part of the cabin, to be honest. Um, it was nice... In relatively deep, plenty of room out there. Um, yeah, what more can you say? And then you come to a QM2 obstructed balcony. <laughs> Obviously, we've got a great big lifeboat, but look at the depth again. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice that. Yeah, and, and it didn't. You didn't notice the lifeboat after a while, really. No. Well, you did. Again, it was winter time. Yeah, and it didn't matter. So now Sky Princess and the Deluxe Balcony, so this is exactly the same as Britannia as well, so I haven't included that one, but very, very narrow again. Very narrow, but reasonably comfortable. I suppose we got used to it on there because we were on there for quite some time, um, but there wasn't an awful lot of room to move around, was there? The chairs were almost in one place and that was it. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't really move anything. So let's look at some bathrooms. This is on Queen Mary, and as you can see, we've got some nice bathrobes supplied there. And we go into the shower, a reasonable size shower, nothing, nothing special about it really. Dreaded curtain, well, we've come across that so many times. Uh, but there you go, can't help that. Um, and plenty of sink area and, and area around. Nice finish, nice 
Quercus products. Yeah, nice that they put that there for your use. And the um, old ashtray. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and various places to put all the towels and that, and the towels are plentiful, lovely. On to Enchanted, and again at Mini Suite, plenty of room for all your towels. And this one had a bath. Um, and was very easy to use and with all those assistance rails that made life very easy for us. It's a well appointed bath and shower and there's even a knob within the bath so you can swap the feed over. And uh, double layer curtain there uh, which meant that although it was a curtain it actually didn't stick to you and of course because it had a bath you had an extra long line yeah. uh, for your little washing. Plenty of storage space there. Um, and your socket you've got, got the there for there. your shaver. Yeah, and everything's in the right place. <laughs> Easy to reach, let's yeah. say, and accessible. Yeah. Nice little sink and hooks on the back of the door for you to hang things on. So onto Iona. Yeah, standard balcony cabin bathroom. Quite small. Uh, the shelves are there, but no drawers at all. Uh, but then that was a feature of this, these these um, cabins. Um, backlighting on the mirror which is quite nice plenty of room for your towels beautifully finished though wasn't it yeah it was yeah. no shaver socket in and the cabin and it had a door which is quite a novelty for for p o ships um yes and and of course they put the uh, products there for you to use as well a short line in that one but then it was only a small cabin and bathroom so. and very low water pressure in the sink as well yeah you Not went about good. that every day didn't you oh, did. it took <laughs> half an hour to fill the sink up but other than that, it was usable. On to Virtuosa. Well, yes, I quite like their um, their bathrooms. Basic, but it had a door, uh, so you didn't have to fight with a curtain. Yep. Very small. I mean, look, we both can't get in there. I'm having to film from outside. Yeah. Um, shelving there is shelving, small amount of shelving, but it does have a lip on it so that things don't fall out. Tiny little um, sink there, but it has a little... Same corner to make best use of the room and a good plug hole. Yeah, it, I presume it filled up quite um, easily too. Yeah, because it was small. This was frightening first thing in the morning. Ooh. This was a, a magnifying mirror. Very useful, but ooh, not first thing in the morning. And a shaver socket as well, which is good for a modern ship. And plenty of storage for your towels to hang up. Yeah, plenty of towels available. Yeah. Aurora. Now, for an older ship, this is um, going to see, well, we'll see what they, the functionality is like. Again, you've got the uh, curtain, uh, which does stick to you, um, and it's quite a small shower area, but they do have products there, and there is the usual washing line. Um, but Shower the, was good. Yeah, the shower was good. The big advantage is that the, the, the shelving is all behind cupboards, yep. so you can put everything away, it's not going to fall out. You've got the shoulder socket in there as well. Plenty of storage underneath the sink if you need it. Um, and a bar of soap. A bar of soap. And you can see a face cloth there. Now, you do have to request face cloths on P&O these days. Sky Princess, the deluxe balcony. Yeah, this was all right. It was just back to an ordinary shower again. Um, and the, the shower curtain, which was just a single layer, but it didn't stick to you, which is really nice. Um, Good shower. Yeah. Quite powerful. Again, you got the little washing line. Yeah. Uh, and that non-sticky shower curtain. A shaver socket again. Yep. Plenty of shelf space again, as you can see. And it's nice, <laughs> isn't it? You know, a square sink this time. And they provide products in, in the main bathroom as well. Yep. Lotus Spa products for you to use. Very nice. So, yeah, that's quite nice. You've got a bit of storage underneath as well, I think. Yep. But yeah, there is. And the toilet um, paper in the right place yeah. so you can and reach there's it. there's loads of places to, for, for your towels as well. There's plenty of towel room. Yeah. Now this was a bit different. This this bathroom was big enough to have a disco in. This was on Riviera. Um, and as you can see, it's huge. But it's only an ocean view cabin. Yeah, I know. Um, but it's, it's very big. It's got a lovely shower. Um, You've got choices of them. You've got a rainfall shower and a, a douchey one if you want to use that very long washing line because yeah. it's a very long shower area and plenty of storage space for if you want to take your own products with you um, <laughs> onto the <laughs> cupboards well I, I don't, well I don't know what you would put in all of them I challenge anybody to fill those up with your bathroom needs you're not going um, to fill it up with your complimentary vanity kit are you no no it's just it's amazing 
how many drawers and cupboards there are in this bathroom. All sofas. Oh, those towels, I remember them. They were scrumptious. Yeah, they're they? really Ooh. nice. Really nice. And a shaver socket still. Yeah, and loads of face cloths. Spare ones down there if you needed them. Um, not that you didn't have to ask for them. No. And again, another drawer. More drawers. <laughs> More drawers. And spare bath towels for your, for your, for your floor for when you come out of the shower. Yeah. And a nice LED mirror. Yeah. And products. Bulgari products. <laughs> and more than you could ever want. Yes, because they replaced them easily. They, they didn't worry about replacing them no. at all. When you and some Bulgari soap as well. Yeah. Two lots to two choose different, from. Two different types to choose from, which is really good. And another useful little, uh, little plug hole, just like MSC. Thought we'd talk a little bit now about the beds and linen, Lindsay. Yes, beds are one of my favourite aspects of a cabin. It's <laughs> because we can't get you out of it. <laughs> well, I, I do enjoy having a, a sleep on a bed and on a yeah. ship. <laughs> Look at that. That's a princess bed. Now yeah. They are gorgeous. They sort of wrap around you and, and cuddle you when you get into them, don't they? But we've never really had a bad bed. Oh. Uh, except for that one. Yeah. Well, yeah. the bed wasn't that bad. It was just very small, wasn't it? It was yeah. a standard four foot six, whereas you normally get a, a queen or a king size yeah, bed that was tiny yeah here we are on Iona again good pleasant bed nothing outstanding no no but very comfortable yeah. and I quite like it when you're next to the uh, next to the balcony now this there. I think is my favorite bed that we've ever had it was on Oceana and I think it outdoes the princess bed mm, marginally I'd like to talk a little bit about fridges and mini bars you really must be aware of entering into one of these and emptying the contents if you're not sure whether it's included or not because some of them can be very expensive so please check and be careful check the websites to see what's included in cabin entertainment well this can vary from ship to ship and indeed from cruise line to cruise line so some of the ships will have a vast amount of interactive films and things that you can play in the cabin and others won't. It's as simple as that. There will always be some safety information on your television, so make sure you make use of that as well. Electrical sockets and USBs. Here we are on Queen Mary 2, and as you can see, the main sockets on here are UK and US. Here we are on Princess. We have a USB socket situated in the lamp, and we have a mixture of European and US sockets available to use, but none beside the bed, unfortunately. On we move now to our cabin on Britannia, and as you can see, we have UK three pin socket on the desk. We have another one situated under the desk, and we have a US socket in the far corner, along with the European socket that the kettle is usually plugged into. If you go on to the molder ships like Aurora, there is a single three pin socket in that cabin and another one that the kettle is plugged into, but no USB ports whatsoever. On we go to MSC and you can see a nice array of US and USB sockets in the desk area. And on the other side, we have some European sockets. So make sure that you take your adapters with you. On most European and US ships, you'll find US and European sockets. On Oceania, we had a selection beside the bed of USB sockets and European and US sockets. And across the other side, the room on the desk area, we had USB, European and more US sockets. Here we are on Iona and we have UK sockets and one European, not that many, but they do have these handy little USB sockets under the light fittings each side of the bed for your convenience. I hope you found this information helpful about the variety of cabins in the ships that we've sailed in. If you'd like some more in-depth cabin reviews, then please go to our channel and check them out. And to find out about cabins on future cruises that we intend taking, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be told whenever any new ones are added.